Hi and welcome to another Type with Me video. In this video I will show you how Reflect Metadata works within TypeScript. Let's go! Imagine we have a decorator like this. Decorator log type. Now we can create a class demo where we put our log type decorator for example attribute so before we can use um, the reflector or the reflection API we need to add emit decorator metadata and we need to put it to true right so we add this property to our tsconfig.json all right so next we need to install reflect metadata we do dash save to save it into our package.json nice we also need to install typings so we can do npm install at types slash reflect metadata dash dash save nice so back to uh, our index.ts file right and here at the top we need to do an import of reflect Dash metadata and then here we can say let t equals reflect dot um, get metadata And then we need to provide a key and we need to provide a target. We can also provide our key here. And here, get metadata, the metadata key, key used to store and retrieve metadata. One of the keys is the following key. design type so when we want to have uh, type metadata in our case this will be string we need to provide this right great so now we just need to do console.log to print out uh, our type of our attribute so we can do it as follow and you will see that t.name will print out the string and the key will be this attr so let's build this and when we now do a node dot you will see that we have a printout of ATTR and the type is string. So that's great, right? So another great thing could be to have log param types. So for that, we will get you something else. So for that, we provide methods here, right? And we can just do uh, declare interface i foo and here we have a method to do something where we have a parameter one that's a string parameter two that's a number three that's any and so on and now we want to print everything in there right so for that 
our metadata key is very important. So we need to provide design pattern types, right? And then we can provide you with the following code. So in this case, T will be an array, the array of all the parameters, right? And we just map them and then get the name out of there and do a dot join. So we can print them out here in the console.log. When we now print, when we now build this, right? Da -da 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 -da. And we do node dot. We have do something param types string number object 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 thing. So now it will also be great to have the return type, right? And indeed, you can already imagine that the return type is also a metadata key, like we have here, right? So what we can do here is just say let r, which is our return type. Then we do reflect dot get metadata design return type target and key, right? And then here we can say r dot name, right? So let's build this. Now we dot or that we have a return number, isn't it? So these are just some tricks. So these are some great tricks to get more info about um, your class or your attribute or your methods. So I hope you enjoyed it, that you learned something on how you can use the Reflect Metadata API. I hope to see you soon.